Hey everyone, Jamie Ardolis for CBC Live. I'm so excited to be here tonight. It's the kickoff to Ballistum Canada 2011 here at CBC. And CBC Live is connecting CBC talent with 350 of Canada's most talented and influential female bloggers. This is what CBC Live is meant to do. space for, for quite a few years now and there haven't been the events and spaces that, that really amplify what Canadian women are doing. It's an amazing group of women in this room and um, the, the potential is massive and I think that's what we're excited about. It's yeah, about what's to come. It's been neat for me to see talk to moms one on one which, you know, when, when you do a TV show that doesn't have a live audience, you don't always get that opportunity. So it's a really great way for me to get out there and meet the parents and find out what we're doing right, what we could do better, and things like that. Social media is amazing, but it's somewhat superficial, and it's when you connect with people in real life that it really all comes together. And it's kind of cool just seeing all these people here because, you know, when you try to spread the word, these are the people that really get the word out for you. Canadian women in social media were really ready for a conference like this. I've actually been going to the U.S. several times a year for blogging conferences and social media conferences. So we were really hungry for it. I love um, communicating and chatting with bloggers. You learn so much um, from people and the fact that we have a gigantic room filled with so many people that have so many passions that they love to, you know, teach us stuff online, share new information, and bring us more kind of up-to-date stuff. So it's really cool being here with all these ladies. I just love the fact that people are embracing it, you know what I mean? And it's here. And there are people that are proud that they have nothing to do. I, I don't do Facebook, I don't do Twitter. You're missing out, I'm sorry. That's, these are just facts, and these people here know it. smart people here tonight and they're really on it and I think there's so much creativity in the room like you know I mean this is something that they're very passionate about you can see a lot of passion feel the passion and it, 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 the creativity and passion brought together with the, the know-how you know I think we have the creativity maybe the passion as well but we don't have the know-how so we're here to learn that women have a voice and it's powerful and they're recognizing it and the medium of the internet is really really allowing those voices to be heard and I think it's an important voice for people to have. So we have to write blogs uh, for CBC as part of our job. We don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to. We like. We want to. to. Yeah, yeah. We want to. We have a yeah. lot to say. But I think that is one of um, the coolest things about our relationship right now with computers is the obsession with reading blogs. You are you yeah. obsessed? We all oh, we have to read. We have to read them now because so many times that is that is how we find out information first. Your talent does make this one of the coolest and smartest places to be in Canada tonight. You know, we're walking into the cultural epicenter of Canada, right? That this is CBC has defined Canadian culture, you know, for years. When we talk about traditional media, we're talking in Canada, we're talking about CBC. Uh, Nora Young in an email to me earlier today used the term legacy media, which I thought was awesome. CBC is legacy media, and CBC is the perfect partner for talking about and working with moving media into the next age, into the next into the next space for media.